Hi guys, myself Shruti Khandelwal. I'm going to recreate Snapshots Lesson 5 Model G. As you know, the chapter is little bit longer, so I will cover up the summary. So, the characters are Mrs. Jora as a fortune teller, Mrs. Weasley as a wife, Mr. Jack Weasley as a husband, Xerox Weasley as a brother, Joe Weasley as a sister. Mother's Day describes the plight of a mother in our own family. Her husband and children treat her like a servant. Mrs. Weasley is such a lady. She is a timid and weak woman. Her next door neighbor, Mrs. Jora, helps her. She transforms her into the mistress and boss of her family. Mrs. Weasley sets her spoiled children, Zoe and Xerox, and her pompous husband, Jack. It is afternoon. Mrs. Weasley is sitting with Mrs. Jora in a living room. Mrs. Weasley is a pleasant but worried looking woman in her forties. Mrs. Jora is older, heavier and a stronger personality. They have sharply contrasting voices. Mrs. Weasley speaks in a light but Mrs. Jora with a deep voice. Mrs. Jora has been telling Mrs. Weasley fortune. She learned this art from the East where her husband had served in the Mrs. Jora asked Mrs. Weasley to put her foot down once and for all. She should be the mistress of her own house. She must be the boss of her family. She runs after them all the time. She takes their order as if she were their servant in the house. In this way, she is ruining herself and the family. Mrs. Weasley, husband and her children should take notice of her. Mrs. Weasley is timid and weak. She keeps making her mind to deal with them, but she can't muster enough courage. Mrs. Zora tells Mrs. Weasley that she will set her family right, only they will have to change their personalities. She asks Mrs. Weasley to give her a hand and keep quiet for a minute. They stare and look at each other, muttering, bombada bum, bombada, and so on. Their personalities change bodies. So now, Mrs. Weasley becomes bold and dominating. Mrs. Jora is nervous and timid. It is easier changing back. They can exchange their personalities at will. So is Mrs. Weasley's daughter. She comes and asks her mom to iron her yellow shirt. She has to wear it tonight. Mrs. Weasley doesn't answer but keeps on smoking. So is astounded. She can't believe her eyes. Then she asks her mother for tea. Mrs. Weasley replies that it is not ready. Zoe becomes angry. She again insists, insists on having her shirt ironed. Mrs. Weasley acts strongly. She scolds Zoe. She puts in twice the hours. Zoe puts and gets no wages and thanks for it. She went on her daughter for choosing a buck and a half with a boyfriend named Tim. Hearing this all, Joe is nearly in tears. Xerox, Mrs. Weasley's son, comes. He asks if tea is ready. No, answers Mrs. Weasley. Xerox asks if she is feeling of color. Then he asks his mother if she, has, if she has put his things out. Mrs. Weasley ignores him. She asks for some stout. Zoe and Xerox are shocked to see their mother smoking and drinking. They are surprised at the sudden change that has come in their mother. They think that perhaps she has gone balmy. But Mrs. Weasley advocates equal work for all. She wants a 40 hour week for all. She refuses to work even an hour more and wants to go out. Jack. Mrs. Weasley's husband comes. He is surprised to find her drinking stout. Mrs. Weasley replies that she likes drinking for a week. Mrs. Weasley makes a mockery of her husband. He is one of the standing jokes at the club. 
they call him Pompey Ompey Pearson Weasley because the thing is so slow and pompous. She taunts him that they always laugh at him behind his back. They call him names. She warns him that if he shouts at her, she will slap his big, fat, silly face. Jack goes out slowly, almost as if somebody has hit him over the head. When Mrs. Jora reached Mrs. Weasley's house, the son, Mrs. Weasley's son, Xerox, opens the door and then return back to her mother and ask that she, does she want that old bag from the next door. Then Mrs. Weasley reacts coldly. You don't dare to share her silly old bag. Okay, you foolish. She is a very nice woman with a lot, lot more sense than you will ever have. Bring Mrs. Dora, okay? Then, then Mrs. Dora went to Mrs. Weasley's house. She was astounded as they all, they all were fighting with Mrs. Weasley. She was taunting all. Moreover, she was making fun of her daughter and her husband in front of her neighbor and both of them didn't like that. So the fight began in the front of her. So Mrs. Zora finds it difficult to be a such cheap man to her children and husband. Actual Mrs. Zora requests Mrs. Weasley that they must change back immediately. The drama has gone far enough. She can't see her husband and children being so miserable. Again, Mrs. Dora and Mrs. Weasley murder as before and they come back to their original personality. Mrs. Weasley becomes real Mrs. Weasley again. Mrs. Dora asks Mrs. Weasley that she should not be soft again. If she doesn't farm up, everything will go waste. Also, she should not give an explanation or apologize for what she has done. Then she leave her she leave Mrs. Weasley's house. Jack, Xerox and Jock file into the door. They look anxiously at Mrs. Weasley. Mrs. Weasley smiles. They smile back at her. She declares that they will have a nice family game of rum. Then the children will get their supper ready while she has a talk with her father. Jack feels relaxed. It shoots him. Xerox says that it's alright, I will manage. Joe hesitates, but Mrs. Weasley reacts sharply. She also gives in.